Hey mine, it's lovely when you can come up daily to the garden. Yes, Hi. hello everyone, my name's Tony Smith. We're inside, and there's days, we're inside the pug tunnel and we're outside. Now I've got a lot of feedback on my carrots that haven't grown. Lots of people, mine, are having a struggle. And I th the majority of folks say it's just went too dry, too quick. A lot of people saying they like the damp and obviously where it's this is the key that's kind of got me where it's been covered is you know where they've sprouted is where the, the sheet has, has had some shade and kept it a little bit moist so that's gonna to have to get a good soak and not just a tickle <laughs> right I'm just gonna try and get a few more seeds away me sprouting broccoli still hasn't come I'll put them advanced user cells over there. Get what I've got left. Right, come on. Whoa. I'm going to do another one of them because it's time now for another one of those seeds. You know, the, the kind of the salad. But what I want to do, well, I suppose I can use lots of this compost. Let's see. I didn't want to use too much just to see what it's like on a See like a half dose of compost. We're doing a lettuce mix from Premier Seeds this time. See what that comes up like. How are we doing? Get it together. I haven't got room yet before I start sowing all that stuff. Right, I've just been kind of trying to, some space there. I think these are going to go out. I planted these in Shakur on the 6th of the 5th. And those are more the Milan purple top. So I'll get those out. Someone mentioned, and I, I think I might have mentioned this already, about cutting the tops off onions. Like just making them all uniform and give us a better, stronger spring onion. See now, where <laughs> you know what i'm gonna pull these garlic i think this garlic and that garlic there because i was gonna probably do it in a week or so and i cannot see <laughs> look at this <laughs> i can't see something like this <laughs> fattening up in a week can i just pull that but there look you see it's still a bloody little thing there isn't it amazing well actually we'll pick them Oh, I don't know whether to leave them or not. I'll pick these ones. I'll pick them ones because they're all just kind of keeling over there now. But, you know, look at the, the thickness of the stem compared to them ones the other day in there. Right, let's get these out. I think these have got a bit of that. Oh, oh look at that. I'll go for that. I'll go for that. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. What a bloody surprise. <laughs> right, let's get these out. Now, I know you're not meant to pull them up, but... Hey, you know what? Can you see? Better than what I thought. Oh, actually, these are the, the same ones as the ones that were in there. The polytunnel just planted outside. You know they're all right. Well, honestly, I was honestly I wasn't expecting that. I thought they might have been a little bit, you know, like the <laughs> the, the, the straw size. I put the spring onions in here. I'll just get a couple of the weeds out. Now I'm going on the theory that if I just keep on planting, <laughs> because half this bed has failed as well. And I've still got a bit of parsnip coming through. It's a bit ironic. Right. I'm going to put those second batch of Milan purple topping on this half side. 
I mean, it's dry as sticks. Let's just see it. So the same with that batch. I'm just going on small. I just want like that golf ball size just to have, so you can have like a couple on your plate, like whole and eat them steamed. But mind you, that ground's soaking wet. Daisy, Daisy, what are you doing down there? Hello, hello. Right, now, something vital I've got to tell you about as well. And I will go now about the spiel, about the breath there, of, we're gonna put you, I'll put you here, of me subscribe, but, my wife mentioned this. If you are in this garden, can you see it? You're in the garden there. Eh? A little bit of the old sun cream. If I can get that. Because you know this fair, fair babby. Fair, it actually smooths my beard though. Fair keeps, oh, fair goes red. Beetroot. <laughs> so listen, listen. Do us a favour, hit the subscribe button, that would be fantastic. I don't need that on my arms there, don't have a wagon driver's arms. Hit the subscribe button, cost you nothing. And it just means when I do a video like this, you'll be notified not, not to tune in. Oh, and, oh, and hit that thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Right, get your sun cream out. Oh, she's back there, now she's following us around, aren't you? <laughs> You're like an old woman there, just sitting in the sun, or an old man. Yeah, it's got to keep that right. It's made some room in there now, which is good, because I've got things I can do. And I've got this bucket, and I've also got a bucket around there that I took some garlic off. And I want to plant in one of these trees. These are the kind of super long ones from container-wise. What's it, a five in there? Oh, all right. So I'm trying, I want some kind of bean. I, I might, if I've got them actually, and I want to put them in a bucket or maybe two buckets, you know, in the, in here for like a later crop, if that'll work. So check some, check and see if I've got the seeds to them first. Now, I'm still getting ribbed off Sean for this, but I still get people asking where, you get this on Amazon, there's a link below if you need like a, a decent seed box so beans but you need a decent label machine <laughs> now just going black i'm just going for weight actually is that the one straight away found one already sent these over winged beans jap use urizen using winged bean eat them oh the, because there's flowers on them as well i haven't got i'm going to plant some of them and i want some normal kind of i don't want dwarf beans so i've already done that they're all dwarf beans these are climbing ones oh are these are them remember i couldn't pronounce them bull blue hide or bull hide right i've got a few in there that's that's it sorted Gonna pop in a little batch of spinach, perpetual again. We seem to be kind of eating quite a bit of that. Maybe because it's just the chard's not here. Get that done. What am I doing this for? <laughs> think I'm unsure. Right, another one I'm doing is greens. I think they're like a. I'm not sure what they're like to be honest, but I can't even pronounce pronounce it. So we'll, we'll put them. We'll get them away, shall we? Is it a bit like a bok choy, maybe something like that? I'll um, I'll multi saw them. Oh, got a tiny. So you know me a little bit of advice about sun cream. <laughs> Go in my bloody eyes. 
Can it see a pig and thing? Oh man, stinging like a bugger. Right, it's been a bit of a productive day to be honest, I'm quite. So, I've got that salad mix in, then I've done some how we ball haldi, <laughs> some wing bean greens. I've got some of these greens in, some spinach. I planted some chard, some ruby, and a one called Ford Hook, which I've never heard of. And then I was watching Jessie's Plot 37, and she was saying you can still get a bit of celeriac. So I've just got a little one there, and I'll give them a nice little water there now. And I think we're off. Look after yourselves, take good care.